gaming. Good choice. Yeah. Evening it up. Did I, did I get my point for the previous game yet, by the way? Uh, did we put those on? I thought we did during the break. I did not. So oh. Unless somebody else did. I mean, all right. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give okay. Fair, fair. fair. I'm not gonna say I'm in the lead. <laughs> it was just Kips, right? Yeah, the other way around could be as well. Yeah. So now he has that combo. And uh, they don't know he's down here yet. Obviously, he's missing on the map, so they can safely assume that he might be in the area, but... He's waiting for that perfect toss. You know yeah. he is. Oh, yeah. Just look at that fly over there. Like, I'm a little bit closer here, fly. Just going to wrap around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fly would be the ideal target. Of oh, they spot him. Look, immediately they turn toss. around. The avalanche coming through here. There you go. It's going to be the toss right back. Hi there, fly. And uh, they should be able to find us as their first blood. And that, that goes back to that's all because of getting level two on him in the beginning. That was, that was completely planned out by forward gaming. So talk about a great heads up. And that's a strategy at its finest right there. And the defensive heroes are on the aggressive side. So it's actually EG who are sitting there, you know, waiting until someone goes on them and reacting, even though they are technically the aggressive trying to interact. Right, right really looking for kills here yet. Like maybe they can do that once they push the wave on the tower because then obviously the toss back loses its strength. Mm -hmm. But that is a much slower game than forwards. I love the solution again for the darks here. Here we've got uh, 37 and 1 CS. Oh, bottom lane. Looks like crit might have gotten tossed back there. One more hit from the tower or from Rezo. We'll be able to secure that kill. And then that says, doesn't have much for mana, does have himself the, uh, oh, there it Jeez. is, right back again, come back here, Fly, we want to give you a big old hug, time dilation coming out, Luna trying to do whatever she can, but it's not looking really good for Fly right now, they're looking for the stop, not going to be able to quite connect it, Fly is actually going to be able to walk away from this engagement. That was like five or six hits with no time lock, oh, he, okay, he doesn't have it, never mind, heck, uh, I, I that'll be why. Well, yeah. I assumed we were going to see the 111 build with the time dilation, but yeah, he actually doesn't have it, so nope. that would make sense. MSS, he has to play the stop, oh, but... No, there's going to be the nightmare. Trouble. Couple more hits from Fly, that should be his kill. Rezo also just joining him to the fight here. Do have a mango over here on Fly, will use the Brain Sap, try to buy himself a little bit more health and time. And a couple of right clicks here. This very slowly chipping away at Fly, they will find the kill. And that's a decent trade-off for losing the rune there. Meanwhile though, I'm actually surprised that this mid lane matchup is still not pivoting the way of Klinks. And I was expecting that by now he'd have pulled ahead, but Yawar is doing a very good job of uh, not letting his brother get to him. And the brotherly agreement? <laughs> oh, I, I, I think <laughs> no, the only agreement I'm there kidding. is uh, war. Yeah, yes. No, it's very competitive. I'm obviously. sure. I'm sure. I've got a brother, man. <laughs> you always want to one up that. each other. Look at the stack. I can't believe they didn't block that. That's quite the hefty stack. Is going to to do this? Well, they're going to have to fight over that for sure. Oh, yeah, but, you know. They can perhaps pull the wave on into the this one. Well, Look at that. First time the Tiny gets space to roam. MSS playing a little little close there with all those uh, skelly men hitting them. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about earlier. You can't actually, like, you need to keep that trial lane pressure up. Because you can't afford to let that Tiny roam. We're satisfied with that. Right. I was going to say something about that, but now I'm unsure. Oh yeah, the tiny. Let me take a moment because we're going to have a uh, murdering a fly go on while you're trying to recall. It was a good stomp coming through here now. Crit forced back. I think Razzle probably just wants to go in front, although it gives this kid a nice bash. But I was getting yeah. it. Yes. One of the strongest mechanics in the game. And oh, the epicenter getting used over here and then on Yuar is going to try to hide himself in the trees. This uh, Sand King taking a decent amount of damage, but I think they'll still be able to yeah, find this guy. He needs yeah. to kill, though. That was a well bit of a played. miscue from S4, sitting way too close to the Asphalt Imprisonment. Went back in. He needed to give vision, though. Mm. Mm. That up, the Echo Stomp. It could have been a potential, but it's safe for play. But S4, he's still mm. in the area. Yeah, this is not a great place for you right now, S4. Does use that Sandstorm. He's going to try to uh, be center up and running again over on S4, so. So it's looking like a potentially good setup here. Nightmare coming out. Nice avalanche being thrown out by Tiny. Turn their attention again. Over onto the Darks here. We'll be able to go connect with the Burrow Struck. I think it's going to be the time dilation. Toss comes out, though. They've got their eyes on flight. They'll take him down. And they're actually going to run this Darks here back. And it's looking like Tiny might be in for some trouble. There's a lot of damage coming up from this Luna. But they actually can't finish it up. And they lose the Luna themselves. Now there's going to be the Surging coming out here for Resolution. He's just going to chase down S4. It does get a nice bet. And he uses the Chrono just for good measure. He could have picked bounty 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 Oh runes. my god. GG. Resolution. Yeah, toss oh. the Lich maybe? Get that 
get the goo-goo eyes going? I guess not. I guess not. You could tell he was trying, but... Yeah, I think this may be a little bit too far away. Oh, Chronos is gonna get used in the mid lane, though, and they find a kill on the fly. Echo Stomp gonna put everybody else into a little nap state. Not the most valued Chrono ever, but... It's gonna push mid tower out of this. Not sure if they could take it. And I think the the rotation where they lost Arteezy before was very costly for EG. Because you want to rotate that Luna into the jungle, really get her farming those st the stacks that you hopefully made before. But yep, but it is still worrisome that he is trailing behind and he is the one who has to, you know, go toe to toe with a OD. There was an SPG right. there, but uh, and the faceless void. Radiance too. They, uh, they, at this point, they know that he's got it because he's been showing up in lanes and whatnot. So, in fact, they get the D ward over here. You know, tier one mid trade for tier two top, not great. Yeah, look at them trying to like sweep through the woods over here on the side, figuring that there'd be some sort of setup. Tower gets taken though in the mid lane. They've also lost the uh, tier two top though. Rezo's just having a lot of space and is able to hit quite a bit here. In fact, uh -oh. charging oh. after Arteezy is going to be able to quite close that gap. There's a lot of oh. people here, though. Fly, turning back around. is will find multiple people. The toss-up coming out from Tiny. Then they'll follow up with the Echo Stomp. Yeah, they chose not to take the Nightmare off him. A little risky, but... He's, uh, he is fine, and he's going in. Still going, yeah, he wants to find this opening couple patch. Uh, the avalanche coming through, Brain Sap will buy him again. A little bit more time to jump for it, coming out from the Sand King. They'll be able to go to cut out the Air Splitter, and they're actually going to be able to take that flight very, very quickly. They'll find Crit as well, and they're going to find that oh, no. There's the Chronosphere. This is exactly what Reza was waiting for. This is his moment. We'll be able to maybe get that, yeah, there it is. Final hit coming through, SVG pulling it. And then over here, giving them the Google Eyes. They'll find the kill on Sumail. EG choosing to fight on the stairs there into the high ground. They, that was them, I, I suppose, saying we feel like we have the stronger team set up. Some time getting set items. She was working on the BKB at least next, which is what a start. What are heroes here, though? Are they engaging up to... They're looking at... He's getting guarded. Yeah, no, they'll use the uh, Nightmare to follow up with the Echo Stop. Oh, they've got the Fiend Script as well. And they'll just... Take him down with that. Epicenter still chasing over here. SVG might be able to actually get out. He gets certain. Oh, oh, nice. Thank you. Coming out. And there's going to be the avalanche, though, turning back around. Crit in for some trouble. He's going to get taken down here. Fly is very, very slowed down by that uh, wall from earlier. They'll actually just go search up the OD, put in the astral imprisonment, and wait very patiently on the other side. The toss comes up. And uh, Brainstock keeps flying alive just a little longer, but MSS will eventually get himself that kill. That's more like it though, that's a great trade. You get the Void kill, you keep all of their heroes busy while your Luna is farming, and... Oh no, SVD. Sometimes you get a little bonus kill on top. Caught in the Chronosphere, sure, but you see all the follow-up damage, you know, from OD and the hand, the hammer being laid down, it's things like that. In fact, speaking of OD, he's in trouble, he's gonna die here. Fiend's yeah. grip on top of the Echo Stomp, and no chance to react for you are. So going a little bit blind, mid lane, meanwhile, Luna's caught, though, and I think uh, forward might be overall pleased with that. Yep. I was about to say that's very uncharacteristic of him to just blindly walk up the high ground, but he didn't want to go up the high ground, he wanted to do the pincer movement, and meet, you know, what he thought was going to be the protection for, that was coming in for the Luna from the back. He was going to meet those people, and instead they just focus him down. West 4, just a little bit too tricky here. Not going to be able to find that kill. SVG, though, despite having that frost shield, not going to be enough to save him. The damage of that Kling Salt is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, if you can keep them near it, <laughs> you can definitely do some... Out of his cave, it didn't exactly end well for him. So you're not liking it. <laughs> I... Links, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he is. Some, there's only plus 20 gold to get from those. Jeez, yeah, that's probably good. Like I guess in this case he's saved because his uh, his teammate died for it. <laughs> yeah. No, but this is good if you just you know need the presence on this side of the map to be able to fight and. They probably had information that indicated that at least one or multiple heroes were bottom, so if you bring three on the smoke top, you're going to be able to fight. In that case, like, there's there's not much risk in him going up there. A lot they know that, the uh, they know that Spore is there, they've got the dust, there's gonna be the toss followed up with the frost shield. Nice burrow strike away though, and Spore trying to run himself back, we'll get the vacuum off. And they're gonna go ahead and use the sinister gaze, hang comes you are, he says, very nice, I will be taking that kill. A chrono, that's missed it looks like. Oh, did he kill somebody? No, he didn't kill no, somebody. No. <laughs> They're about to kill someone right now, though. <laughs> and look at that. Good old Roshan. Hard to say. I think Faceless is a way better carrier for it, just because when, you know, OD dies, his stacks are gone. 
Yeah. Um, what, what else are you going to do there? Get new stacks, I suppose, but this oh. is extremely irritating to do with again. Now that sheep stick coming through over here, we'll be able to go through the wall back and they'll go and they'll drop the Sandy's Eclipse on the back end. Those nail, he's just chipping through everyone, but he can't finish up with that Astro Prism with the BKB getting used over here on Rezo. They're just going to reset. I, I mean, I guess it wasn't a complete disaster. I'm going to go for that straight up, or no. <laughs> just waiting for Samil to join. I might be able to find themselves a tiny over here in the woods. Chain Frost is up. Chrono's probably off cooldown soon. Look how close they are. They're right in the vicinity now. Sentry on sentry. It's so close. You know it's coming. Again, that Chrono, it's got 10 more seconds for Faceless. Oh. That's, oh, EG, you have to be so careful. They're fighting up into a choke point, like you said, to kill like. So far, it's been working out somewhat here. There's a the smoke. Surge. Kind of feel here. like it's coming though. Yeah, this They're baiting out these like, tools like say if they get the BKB off on him before the chrono pops, he's gonna survive. Maybe they have the ward over there to keep tabs. They can't see him. How are they so <laughs> close? <laughs> okay, they drag up, they find it in floor. It's gonna be the push over. Immediately oh. the chrono sphere comes out over onto Three of is, and uh, Rezo just wailing away over here on the fly. Not to be able to quite finish him off. This could be the Eclipse coming out, though, from the Luna, and this could be the epicenter as he's thrown into the air, too. SPG is going to get taken down. The Chain Frost gets a couple bounces, but again, they have that BKB up and running over on Arteezy. And there's going to be the re engagement, though, coming out from the Tiny. The toss up over onto S4. He's going to be able to burrow strike himself down to the low ground. And EG Rich hasn't lost anyone. The Tiny actually buying back during all that. Fly says, chill out, man. You need to take a couple moments. But Rezo, he's back up. He's going to turn to. Oh, there's going to be the Eclipse. Uh, sorry, the uh, Astro Prisoner coming out again. And now they're going to be able to burn him down. It's looking pretty good. They find that kill. Rezo, they get the stomp off, too, over here onto the OD. Oh, man. In comes Luna. RTZ just going to chip him down as fast as he can. He's actually not going to get the last hit as he's placed into the Astro Imprisonment. That's Radiant a value play, I guess, I think, uh, I think there. So, huh? oh. oh, we're not done yet, MSS. Gets uh, a kill on Sumail. As a, a good way to at least get something out of that entire engagement. What was that? Three smokes, several wards, oh my gosh, yes. several sentries, and a whole heck of a lot of confusion. I think that S4 there is probably the Radiant's worst person you can back him up the cliff, just because he can just go out again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's being delivered, oh. so yeah, we'll have it now. Now he does. Fly. I don't think he's a realist. Oh, there's a jump forward for a strike. Well, with that Echo Stomp, just in case they uh, committed real hard on it, but... Reza's still taking a little bit of a nap <laughs> there in the mid lane. Sir, back him into the AoE stun. They've got to know. Yeah, you can see yeah, them already know, making their way over there. You know, you've got an Elder Titan. Just throw in the spirit. Keep tabs on him. Of course, you have to be careful with the tiny. And again, we have blink daggers on the. Uh... Oh, that was a bit of an unlucky bash. Oh. Okay, vacuum coming through into the wall again. They want to re engage. There's a chronosphere on the back end, though. Easy. Go and take down our TZ. He is a non factor. The buyback coming out immediately. And we do see this little skeleton, then. They're doing a lot of damage over here, but Smail, he's actually going to get taken down. Oh, Rogue just wants to be a part of the fight here. That's going to be the air splitter getting dropped in the middle of everything. A nice echo stomp coming through. It's going to be the Rogue. It. It's going to get a covert to crit. Fly trying to run himself fast. Looks like he's not going to be able to do this. And this chain pop is doing quite a number over here. Plus the fact that they have the sheep stick, of course. We'll go ahead and they'll uh, pop that Aegis. In comes Luna, the RTZ. He's got that Eclipse. He's going to try to chase them back, but they've got the force step. They're just so fast right now. That surge on top of everything else. Oh, Luna might be for a little bit of trouble. Crit's still looking for this opening. We'll try to get the echo stomp. Off. We'll find it over onto Tiny. Tiny taking a bit of a nap. It comes S4, thinking maybe we'll get that Burrow Strike in. Avalanche will connect, though. Toss up into the air. And I don't think he was quite expecting that. He's all searched up, though. That is one fast rolling rock right now, but not fast enough because there's going to be the jump up. I S4. Sheeps are getting used as well as the Astro Imprisonment. Arteezy trying to be very, very patient over here. We'll be able to land that uh, Lucent Beam, and they finally get that kill. I, I don't know what to make. I mean, <laughs> the Aegis is not. Yeah, and a level 20 talent as well, the 70 attack speed, it basically allows him to just be a massive right-click threat in your face because remember, his level 4 natural order means when he himself is that minus 100% base armor. Alright, well, so everybody say goodbye, Fly. 
Good bye, fly. And uh, following up though, Hello, uh, you have, Torn. yeah, as far as jumping Wait, through, and they use the PKB on this one, he's not going to be able to get away, there's too much damage coming out from the clinks, the rest of the side of forward gaming, going to have to run themselves backwards here, Arteezy trying to join into the song too, I don't think they're going to be able to quite catch anyone just yet, although they're slowing down a bit, yeah, look at this, they go right back into the base, they don't want anything to do, oh, the sheep stick coming out though, oh, Peronta has four, he's a little piggy toss back coming out as well, and there's going to be that wall getting dropped to the back end, they're trying to fight themselves up, that's going to be the echo stop, we'll be able to find the kill over onto some man, the rest of the team now, DG trying to run away, you are. He's looking for that opening, nice jump over coming out from S4. We'll be able to save him there. Ah, might be in for some trouble now. They also have the dust. This will be tossing back up. Oh, it clips right onto crit at the last second. That natural order coming through. BKB is going to have to be used defensively as he's going to TP himself out. Fly, not out of the woods just yet, but he is going to be leaving in a body. So he must have a lot of stacks right mm -hmm. now. 56. Look at Arteezy. He's trying frantically to get out there. How much longer on that BKB? Gonna be able to get away. I'm thinking he's gonna be in the light. Ah, there's the vacuum coming through. Ion shell surged up. Little darts here. We'll be able to land the loose and beam, but the avalanche will connect as well. RTZ trying to hide himself around the corner, and he's in the woods with a lot of very unfriendly faces. Just don't even look. Just walk away. Cool guys, don't look at explosions, guys. Darks here, come on. A lost in the woods, Arya. <laughs> uh, That's four heroes dead. No deal. This OD has been doing so much work. Really, really nice combo. Whoa, the, the jump forward over here. Yeah. Rezo sees what he wants, and boy, is he going to go and grab it right now. That's his level 20 talent right there. 500 time lock, cast range. I think she was falling apart from Ichi here. I think it's just always fascinates me how in a game like Dota, one moment of impulsiveness can just upend an entire game. Because Ichi has been playing decently well. They've made some mistakes and also recovered from them really well. I really like that that weird standoff thing we had around Roche. <laughs> and the peekaboo. Yeah. You know, they finally get their lucky pick off and then sadly they push their luck just a little bit too far and suddenly you're defending high ground. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Casual Cardi. <laughs> Almost like a huge rock. Yeah, that was uh... Sure. What is that courier? It's a little I sea turtle? I... Oh yeah, that's my a, god. That's a Korean courier. I actually have Daya's that one. It's so cute. Alright, sorry. Back to like Dota. 25 <laughs> levels with all kinds of particles. I'll show you after. <sighs> Alright, looks like uh, this is going to be a very dead Elder Titan, although there's the BKB getting used here over by the OD. He has to run himself back as the BKB is also being used. Nice Chronosphere though, coming out from Rez, who's got his own BKB up and running. Our TP is trying to do anything that he can, but he can't really get in there. Just trying to fight here with his face as well. He's just running her down right now. Nice Echo Stomp will slow them down. Trying to put as much damage down, I think they will be able to find. No, he's going to be able to walk out at the last second. And they turn their attention now. Going to be able to take down Grant. And they're still going to town over here. And that's a very dead S4. Yeah, even if they kill the Faith Jesus there, it's probably the same result. But yeah, that's just got to be assault in the wounds right there. And last second just... Yeah, Deuces. and walk. <laughs> Yeah. Double buyback. Luna just got her buyback, so she uh, she does have one. So the game's not 100% over yet. They just they don't have anything big though. They don't have anything big to really like throw at them. They oh, can't stop them from hitting right now. Forward. But they have so much more damage it feels, and they also have you know the lockdown. There's the sheep stick coming out again from you are. And the jump forward coming out from S4. Getting pulled right back, and this could be a dieback for him if he's not careful. In fact, it's getting real close on it. Burrow's trying to come through, time dilation. Rezo is looking for that opening. He's just so speedy right now. It's just very, very mobile, especially when you consider the fact that you have that surge. And he just jumps in right again. He's looking over here at Grit. He's being careful because the Fiend Kit's going to come out. Is he going to be able to run out? No, it's going to get taken down. You are still tearing him around, trying to test get as much of this end as possible. He's going to turn, try to uh, get himself away, and he needs to be surged up like yesterday. It does look like he's going to be able to make it out though. And the rest of forward is just slowly walking. Oh boy, SVG. Okay, so... This is the yeah. slowest, slowest chase ever. Do you have a nice standing nearby? I might be able to get the avalanche off by them a bit more time. And again, here comes the OD. There's the Hex coming out. They just kind of try to take down a beautiful vacuum wall combo here. Fly trying to get himself away. They will end up losing crit. And the silence over here on the OD, this is looking a bit scary right now. There's too much damage coming out. They'll take him down. Hold up with the avalanche. They will find a kill over onto Fly. Sumail still looking for this opening. Not going to be able to get those hits off. Nightmare going to get thrown over here. Arteezy just going to go right back to hitting the creep wave. Darkseer's been in work. Universe, yeah. again, he's obviously we know. I think he 
could have done a lot more of that big damage output but if you oh dd for reza oh he just he doesn't grab our tz though he's making his lucky stars and he'll start coming through we'll be able to get that back he went bkb coming out from luna she's got that equipped reza though he still really really wants to get the skill over onto luna is gonna have to run himself away though is separate from the rest of his team and i think he just reset after that if he had gotten that chronosphere on her yeah no, that was probably gg if so but uh, 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 SVG, hello? I guess he's trying to bait me. Yeah, yeah. Those are the parallel walls coming through. Again, the slow coming through. They've got their eyes over here onto S4. It's going to be turned into a sheep. They take him out. It's no longer a threat. Look at Klink's just fighting himself over here. That wasn't a vacuum wall, but that was actually a great wall nonetheless because it just completely zoned them out. Mm. They had no chance of responding to their teammate. It's Diana. a Elder Titan, but you don't have the Lunar Eclipse. Your big team fight is just not there to contest. They're going to have to give this up. Oh, especially if this happens here again. Beautiful, thank you. They drop the hammer. Oh, RTZ trying to find himself out. He did just pick up that satanic and he's doing a decent job here. Still chasing down over here after Rezo. BKB is off though. Can they find anything else? All right, jumping forward again. Trevezo loses the toss back over onto Luna into the avalanche here. RTZ's in so much trouble. The BKB's gonna come out. They go and they use the greaves. He's just trying to fight through her. They will finally take down Luna. And they're gonna turn their attention to Chris over here. Rezo just trying to man fight him. It's fairly tanky. He is. He can, he's taking so much damage though. They'll find that double kill. They'll also find the kill over onto Samail. Fly, fighting to the last breath, but will get taken down. That's a team wipe. And the G, G gets called. Forward gaming. Picking game number one. Yeah, that was an uh, impressive play from them. And again, a lineup, you see MSS at the end, of course. As they should be. I mean, it's uh, just a game, though, with, with that.